How you doing? Let me get uh, let me get half a Christmas ale and an empty shot glass. I call this a Paul Brown because it's brown. It's a winner that's way ahead of its time. And it's filled with the best parts of Cleveland. Oh, why? Go Browns? Not a Browns fan? No, it's fine. We'll get you a shot of toilet water with some inferior stadium mustard in it. I call it an Art Modell. Of course I still hate Art Modell. As long as one of us is still alive, I always will. Not Cleveland's fault he left. The city offered him a new stadium as well as money on several different occasions, and on top of that, he had sellout crowds every week. The real reason he left is because he had lost a whole bunch of money because he's a terrible businessman and a little and Baltimore offered him a big moving fee to cover it. A high school guy whose sweetheart left him and he never got over it? First off, you. Second, that is a poor analogy. You wanna know what it's like really being a Browns fan all these years? Here's a better one. We as Cleveland fans, we are the guy. We are the main character in the story. The Cleveland Browns, they are the love of our life, high school sweetheart. And Art Modell is her piece of shit stepdad. He's the one that got custody of her and took the person that gave birth to her, the one that she's named after, and banished her to Cincinnati, which is pretty much Kentucky. One night they were riding in the car together, and he had too much to drink. And he drove the car off of a cliff into Lake Erie. He got out of that car totally unscathed. He went off in life and had nothing but success in everything he did. And he died of old age, surrounded by friends and family, with hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. But the love of your life high school sweetheart, she slipped into a coma from 1996 to 1999 and came back looking exactly the same. But she was totally fucking brain dead. We try to hold on to hope. We grasp at anything we can get, but we are given nothing. No toes wiggling, just drooling day after day after day. But through all this, we formed a sense of community, a support system with others who love her just as much as we do. And sure, most of that is just binge drinking in the parking lot outside the hospital before we visit, or else it's just way too depressing. But we stick by the side of the love of our life, high school sweetheart, because we are good, honest, strong-willed, loyal people, just hoping for some semblance of what we once had. And that's what it's like to be a goddamn Cleveland Browns fan. Go Browns.